by definition economics is allocation of scarce resources between alternate uses. As per Macmillan Dictionary of Modern Economics, trade-off can be defined as a conflict of policy objectives with the result that one objective can be attained only at the cost of moving away from the other. After starting this module, you shall be able to understand the concept of equity, understand the concept of efficiency, find out why there can exist a trade-off between equity and efficiency. Let us first discuss the concept of equity. By equity, we mean fairness or justice in distribution. Equity is different from equality. In public finance, when we talk about equity, our focus is mainly on deciding among alternative economic policies and choosing the one which helps in achieving maximum equity in distribution. This distribution may be of income, wealth, tax burden, expenditure or utility etc. Depending upon distribution, a policy may be termed as desirable or undesirable. Equity can be horizontal or vertical. Horizontal equity implies fairness or justice in the treatment of individuals who are in similar circumstances. For example, if we suggest that people at same level of income should pay same amount of tax, that will be an example of horizontal equity. On the other hand, vertical equity implies fairness or justice in the treatment of individuals who are in different circumstances. So a government policy initiative of taxing rich people and subsidizing poor will be a move towards vertical equity. Another type of equity is intergenerational equity where effect of policy is seen on present as well as future generation. For example, if government chooses to borrow heavily today to finance its expenditure, it will imply heavy interest liability on future generation apart from need of higher taxes to pay back the borrowed amount debt. So it becomes extremely important to monitor the use of borrowed funds must be productive and to monitor the choice between debt and tax in present period. Moving on to the definitions of efficiency in public economics, Samuelson's modified Pareto efficiency criteria. As explained earlier in the module titled Problem of Allocating Resources, Private and Public Mechanism for Allocating Resources in general equilibrium analysis, we know that Samuelson's general equilibrium model is based on two goods, a public and a private good and two people, Mr. A and Mr. B. His analysis is based on the assumptions that there are two goods in the economy. One private good P and social good S. Production possibility curve for two goods P and S is given. Production possibility curve PPC also called as transformation function or production frontier shows the possibilities open for increasing the output of one good by reducing the output of other. Further, taste of the consumers are given that is we have utility map of Mr. A as well as Mr. B. To show efficient allocation of a social good in general equilibrium framework, first we select a given level of utility for individual A which is depicted by his indifference curve ICA. Subtracting it vertically from the transformation curve, we get another curve known as residual curve or consumption curve for B. This consumption curve will reveal the maximum private good available for B given A's utility level. 
out of various options of private good available for B, B will choose that point where residual curve touches its highest indifference curve. In the figure ICB2 is that indifference curve and E is the equilibrium for B. Corresponding to E, Mr. A will choose a point like K on his indifference curve as point of consumption. K being exactly vertical to E, it is important to note here that both A as well as B will be consuming same amount of public good which can be found. In case of private good, it will not be so. Next, we shall discuss the equity efficiency trade-off. To explain the concept, we shall again assume two individuals, Mr. P and Mr. Q, living in an economy. As we can see in the figure, the utility index of P and Q are given on X and Y axis respectively. B star is the bliss point, showing where the grand utility frontier between P's and Q's utility index touches the highest possible social indifference curve. Here we are assuming the society to consist of only two individuals P and Q. If initially the distribution is such that the individual is at point such as T a parallel movement along Y axis towards S will be better as Q will gain while P will not lose anything. Similarly, a parallel movement on X axis towards U will be better as P will gain while Q will not lose anything. But if we see the societal welfare S is better than U as S is on a higher social indifference curve. Let's assume that the market mechanism leads the economy to point S, which is on indifference curve IC3. If further society moves from S to B star, the welfare will increase from IC3 to IC5. In this movement, though society as a whole is gaining, P is better off, while Q is worse off. This movement therefore is not Pareto efficient. Now an attempt towards redistribution that is compensating Q for its loss will be an attempt towards equity. This movement towards equity may lead to some loss in efficiency. This shows that in the quest towards equity, efficiency may be compromised. On the other hand, if focus of the policy makers is to achieve efficiency only, they will have to accept a distribution which may be not equitable. Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Economics is allocation of scarce resources between alternate uses. Trade-off can be defined as a conflict of policy objectives with the result that one objective can be attained only at the cost of moving away from the other. By equity, we mean fairness or justice in distribution. Equity is different from equality. Equity can be horizontal or vertical. Another type of equity is intergenerational equity. Economists have long debated the best criteria to define equity. In economic literature, four based criteria of equity are listed, viz. endowment based criteria, utilitarian criteria, egalitarian criteria, and mixes criteria. Efficiency in public economics is considered in context of Pareto criteria modified by Samuelson in his general equilibrium model to show efficient allocation of a social good in general equilibrium framework 
first we select a given level of utility for individual A and subtracting it vertically from the transformation curve we get consumption curve for B. This consumption curve will reveal the maximum private good available for B given A's utility level. Out of various options of private good available for B, B will choose that point where residual curve touches its highest indifference curve. Finally, we learned that in the quest towards equity, efficiency may be compromised. On the other hand, if focus of the policy makers is to achieve efficiency only, they will have to accept a distribution which may not be equitable. 